H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so did you get a chance to um, install all the required softwares which I was discussing in the previous uh, session? Is there anyone who had uh, who have problems in installing it? Um, okay, Elijah, you said me. Okay, so what kind of problem you have it? Uh, if you just want to talk about are you using windows or you're using a linux what operating system you're using i'm using windows um is it okay to show you my screen um yeah let's do that uh, for some time so let me make you as a presenter thank you make presenter <clears throat> all right so you are the presenter right now You can speak out. I think uh, you have muted. Yes. Yet. Yep. Go ahead. Yes, I opened up to here. I don't know how to continue. All right. So, uh, can you go to your command prompt? Uh, just click on your Windows button. Windows button. Windows um, button. Yeah. And just type in command C O M M A N D or C M D. Anything is okay. C M D. Yeah, enter. Now just type in Java once. Enter. Um, okay, so perf log. What's going on with your machine? So can you just type in Java C also? Java C. Yeah, J A V A C. Okay, now can you go? Can you go to the back screen? Uh, how do I do that? No, the one you have it on the back and back of this particular. Uh, okay, bin. yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah. Yes. Go to the bin folder, B I N. There is a bin folder out there. Yeah, double click on that. Now copy this path. Yep, go there. No, no, just click on there. Copy that. Now go to your command prompt once. So you say this is a command prompt, okay? So for a Windows operating system, you, you say it is a command prompt. Uh, for Unix, you say it is a terminal. So just remember this one. Now do a CD, CD, space, and paste that. Give you a space there and paste it. Right click on that. Right click. No, right click. Right click and paste. Right click. Right click. Yes. Yeah, now do a paste. Enter. Okay. Now, can you do a Java here now? Okay. Enter. Okay, so this is good. Uh, Java C. All right, so this looks good to me. Um, now let's go to the, the folks. Uh, this is going to be an exercise for you all that uh, if you are installing for the first time, 
uh, most of the times actually uh, the installer will take care of uh, putting everything in proper place but um, assuming that something went wrong so let's do this uh, so what uh, he has done is he has just copied the bin folder now can you go to the uh, to the windows explorer on the back what do you have Uh, if you can make me as uh, give me as a right click request uh, keyboard and mouse. Sorry, I requested for the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, can you say yes? Yes, I've done that. Okay, all right, so let me just copy this. <laughs> And come here, right click on this computer. Okay. Go to the properties. Yeah. I think you might have seen somewhere in the Google also. Uh, go to the advanced settings. Okay. And environment variables. Variable. Yeah, environment variable, this one. I'm just gonna click on this. Can you just click on this? Uh, I can't see which one. This one, the environment variable at the bottom, 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 bottom. Environment variable. So, see okay. the, if you are able to see yeah. the same thing, what I'm doing it, uh, if you can just touch yes. the same thing. Yes. All right. Yes, I've clicked it. Now, okay. No, no, don't do anything. Wait. Uh, so, what I'm going to okay. do is I'm just going to click on the new. No, new are the. Uh, on the top one, cancel this. On the top, here. On the top, yeah. I mean, there are two news, right? Okay, this one. Right. Now, give something okay. to Java Home. So, let me, can you give me the keyboard access again? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Oops, I'm not able to type in anything. Uh, if you can give me access again, um, I can give you access again if you want. Yeah, um, give me the access again, please. Yeah, please send me the. Um, I think. I think I have no option to send it again. Okay. Uh... Okay, just type in one thing, Java Home. Java Home. Yeah, Java. At the top space. With capital letter Java underscore home. Underscore home. Okay, underscore. Underscore. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, if you can see my chat also, I have pinged you the uh, message. Okay. All right, let's do one thing. Uh, otherwise, um, if uh, let's do this uh, once the class is over, let's do that exercise then. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me let me copy this. Control V. Yeah. And uh, Java Dasker. Oh. Right. In the value, paste the one which you copied. Uh, paste it. Oh, I've I've just changed. <laughs> I've just put. Um, okay, maybe after when we finish. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me let me try and look for it. This one? No, no, no. The one uh, where you install Java. Oh no, I've I think I've missed that now. All right now, uh, it should be in the under your C drive. Go to your C drive.
under your program files yeah i think it's this one i think it's the other one hopefully okay it's out here this one all right go here go inside right go there first one yeah copy this path this is what you need now go and paste it there. yeah yeah right now say okay now do a, a new again uh, can you just scroll down what do you have more can you scroll down i mean yeah no 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 down down yeah yeah right, do a new now just say uh path p-a-t-h yeah in the value uh just say percentage in what percentage percentage it is the shift five okay 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 yeah percentage java home no 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 java home percentage java home correct underscore home uh, okay underscore home h o m e yeah percentage percentage again please okay slash yeah give a slash yeah b i n uh, b small b i n yeah uh semicolon semicolon and dot give a period dot yeah say okay and okay again okay okay at the bottom okay here yeah. right right say okay here right now go to your command prompt open open up a new command prompt CMD. close this okay and open up a new one okay um i draw open again mm -hmm. just type in command c o m m no 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 command type in command cmd right yep enter now do a java here again Okay, so there's some other problem which is happening out here. So performance log Java new library Java JVM CF Java. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we'll figure out later. Um, let's continue. Okay. There's something else going on. Okay. Up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. So folks, uh, um, yeah, can you make me as a presenter again, or I'll do that. Uh, make presenter. Make a present. Okay, I'm the presenter now. Um, show my screen. Okay, so here we go. Um, minimize this. Mute. Okay, so what exercise we did it for uh, uh, for him now? It would be the same exercise for you all. Uh, looks like his uh, database config uh, sorry not database his uh, machine configuration looks different or something is uh, missing well we'll check on that but uh, if you happen to uh, run the command um, from the command line so you have to do all these exercises okay so uh, try to figure out if not uh, i'll let you know how to do it and uh, sri devi yes i will help you out um, again, today is the very first class, though, so there should not be any problem. We'll 
uh, I'll, I'll try to guide you um, further. Okay. So in the previous session, what we have done is we uh, just installed uh, Eclipse, we installed IntelliJ and, and whatnot, right? And uh, we saw how to write a simple program and whatnot. Okay. Now today, what we're going to do is we are actually going through, going to go through all the basics itself here, like oh, what happens after installation, uh, how to write a basic program from using the command prompt itself and whatnot. And we'll see what happens and whatnot. How do you compile a program? How do you run a program? Okay. So before that, let me just open up one of the document so that I talk about a few things here. So this is... Okay, so we will talk about this uh, particular uh, presentation, but before even talking about, uh, let me just go ahead and do something, and then we'll come back to this particular diagram. So, where is that terminal? So what I did is uh, I'm just I have just opened up the terminal. Okay, for me it is a terminal. For uh, Windows operating system it is a command prompt. The, it's only uh, difference out there, okay? Now, I would basically go to batch 28 underscore Eclipse, for example. Let's do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to just create a simple program out here, okay? Now, in order to create a program, uh, what I can do is... Um, the, I mean, I'm just going to create a file first, and in that file, I'm going to write a program, okay? Now, I'll just write a program. I can use a VI editor, uh, which is part of the Linux operating system itself, or what you can do is you can kind of open up any notepad. For example, I'm just going to open up a notepad, and I usually use one notepad most of the times. So I used to use something as a notepad++, plus plus, but this is sublime text. Okay, if you guys want to install this sublime text, it is uh, something you can install it. You don't have to pay anything for this one. I like this because of some reason, you'll, you'll come to know the reason right now. Okay, now uh, install this one. I'm just going to type in in the comment chat sublime text. Okay, now what am I going to do is uh, if you see here, there is no file here at all. I mean, there are some folders out here, core Java and remote uh, system temp files. I don't care about this one now. I'm just going to create a file here, okay? But before even creating a file, I'm just going to write something out the, out, the, out in this file. So what I'm going to do, do right is, I'm going to write public uh, class, hello world, all right? And then uh, this is, I'm just writing a simple class in Java, okay? And then I'm just going to say something like, uh, this is like a home, Okay, this is my my house, and inside that house, I need to have a, a main door, right? So that everyone can enter, everyone can go out. So likewise, uh, there is something as a main method. Okay, public static. We'll talk about all these things. Don't worry. Public static void main. So and then this takes some arguments. Arg. Okay, so technically it is args. Now here I'm just going to say system dot out dot println. So I'm writing a very basic program, the one which we wrote it in the previous example also. And I'm just going to say hello world out here. Some exclamations here. Now when I do a save, control S or command S because I'm using uh, Mac. So I'm just going to say command S. Okay. Now we'll just go and look out for exact folder structure where I want to save this file so i would just go to users um then development then there is going to be gitlab uh, sorry github this is batch 28 eclipse so this is where i want to save it okay now what is the name of the file i want to give i want to give something as hello world dot java now as we are talking about java we need to have a file extension as java that is the important thing okay so in Java, whenever you write a file, the extension of the file should be .java itself. Now, why I'm giving this name as hello world? Because the name of the file, name of the program inside what I've written, 
uh, as something as public class hello world. If you would have given something as a by world or anything, that something would should should come up out here. Okay, now I just do a save here. Now when I do a save, see here, Sublime Text knows what is a Java format and it basically for, gives me proper color here. Public is a different color class, hello world. These are all different colors because Sublime Text understands uh, how to format, how to give uh, proper colors to Java code. Okay. Uh, uh, so there's a question coming in. Can we use git bash instead of command prompt? Yes, you can use git bash. That's what even I recommended in the previous uh, session that use git bash instead of uh, command prompt. Okay. Or you can even use a PowerShell also if you're using Windows. So you have got multiple options, but git bash is a ideal uh, um, software for doing or running any kind of uh, Unix based commands in your Windows. Okay. All right. So here we go. If I go back to my terminal now and do a ls, uh, any of these commands which I'm doing ls or cmd, uh, cmd doesn't work here. So cd, right? Um, okay. 